All right, guys, today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to back up and archive your video footage that's important to you from Unify Protect. Let's get into that video. All right, guys, but before we get started, I just wanted to let you know this is not an automatic thing. I wish it was a feature where it would just pick and choose and be able to automatic. I was, when I first thought of this, when I heard about it coming out, I was like, oh man, this is awesome. Uh, my thing will just automatically send all the footage to my NAS and to the Unify hard drive that's in my UNVR, UNVR Pro, or Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus, or UDR router that has the built-in micro SD card or um, I think Dreamwall. Uh, I was hoping all that would just be able to automatically do it and send all your footage over there like an extra, you know, just double storage, like an offsite or somewhere else storage on your network or something. That would have just been freaking awesome. But it's uh, something you have to do manually. So basically all this is gonna do is, let's say you have an important footage that you want, like let's say somebody broke in or you see a cool animal in your camera or your dog or your kids are doing something funny or you wanna show something to the cops at your business or whatever, uh, to have an extra copy other than just downloading it from your to your phone, you know, on your phone app protect, you can download it to your phone and save it on your phone or on the computer where you can save it on the computer, download it, a physical, the little file onto the computer or to your to the cloud up somewhere. This is just letting you do the same thing, but to your NAS. I mean, hopefully one day they'll let us just send it to your NAS in general and that would be freaking awesome. But you know, maybe they'll make their own NAS. That'd be cool too. There's a lot of speculation, but who knows? But yeah, let's get started. I'll stop rambling and we'll start it right now. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, you'll see video archiving right here at the main home screen when you log into Protect. There is also another screen we can do it too. I'm gonna show you both options. If we go down, we can see it right here. I've already added in. We're gonna remove this one, remove, delete. You can add it right here, archive. You can automatically archive. So we can just click add account and we can do it here too. Or we can go back to the home screen and we can sit, set up cloud archiving and we can do it here too. But if you hit to miss on accident, let's just say you hit to miss and you're like, oh, download. No, I don't want to download it to the computer. Uh, obviously before you could do the playback and download it to, you know, little snippets and stuff, but we want to archive it. So we go back to settings and we're going to go to add account. We're going to go to our NAS and we're going to hit next. I'm gonna type in the IP address of my NAS. That's why it's always important to have a static IP address. So 192.168.1.182. And then we're gonna port's fine. I'm gonna go in my username for my, and my password so I can use this file. This, is, this isn't my protect stuff. This is my username and password to my server, my NAS, wherever I'm sending this to. And that's my NAS server. So this is what I use, I'm the user, and this is the username of my NAS, and this is my password to verify I have access to it. I'm gonna hit connect. And give it a minute here. <laughs> oh, oops. oh, password's wrong, whoops. That's what it was, okay. And now we should be going here. I think I did it right. Let me make sure. 192, yeah. No caps lock, yeah. Let's see. What the heck? Okay, let's do this again. There we go. Sometimes you weird, you type in your password quick and you know you've done this a million times and then you're like, dude, I keep doing it right. And you slow down, like, okay, let me slow down. Oh, it works now. I guess I was doing something else wrong. So it connected to my NAS and what it's gonna do now is it's basically, it says right here, please select a, share, uh, a shared drive to archive the recording. A folder named Unify will be created. So if I made an actual share already called unify so it's just going to make a another folder in the unify share so if i select here you can see all the other stuff i have and i have unify 
I'm gonna hit, um, they can change the server too if you wanna add a different one. You can actually add multiple ones too. We're gonna hit confirm. And here it is. Now we can edit it, because I already did before. So we can go to, here. wait, not that one. We wanna go to, we're gonna add another one here. We're gonna remove, actually we can just do this. So since this is already here added, like I said before, I've already pre-done this server. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go back to the front page and I'm gonna go to export. And now it's gonna go to add the camera. And see it already has right here, archive to 192.168.182. So I'm gonna select add the camera, G3 instant, save. And now I can pick the date where I want to save the footage that whole day. So that were the time even too. I could be like, let's do boom to boom. So we got the 29th to the 31st and I can hit archive footage. And as you can see, it's actually gonna show you it's preparing and there's a little scroll bar here too, showing that it's all gonna be there. And basically each one of these file types and these times is basically gonna be a file basically that you're just gonna click and it's a video. So you can scroll and check out any video player that you use, VLC, Media Player Classic, whatever. You'll be able to see your videos as files and stuff. So if I go to, let's go to this. If I see here, we go to unify footage and there we go. There we go, right there. We have our unify footage right here. And if I click, you can see they're just file types and you can see it has different times too because I added it. So it's just gonna have different file types right there and they're just video files. And that's all it is. But hey, if you guys like these videos, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos. I do these videos for you guys. I hope you guys like these videos. I mean, this is pretty freaking cool. It'd be even cooler though if you could just have an as anyways and not even have to use any of your storage or anything like that on your actual unified devices. But hey, you know, it would be cool just to have options. The more options, the better. And then if I wanna delete that share, like I said again, settings, we can go here and just hit remove. Yes, delete, and it's gone. Done, done, done. So hey, I'll catch you guys in the next video. What I always say, I hope you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. Peace out, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.